As you can imagine, life has not been the same for the McCullum family since that tragic day back in January of 2020. Alan McCullum was only 46 years old when he was killed. He had been with the Corpus Christi Police Department for seven years. Before that, he served in the U.S. Army for 21 years, and he was the recipient of a Bronze Star. But no doubt, his proudest titles were husband and father. He is survived by his wife and three children. Today, we heard exclusively from Michelle McCollum. Our Seth Kovar has more on her reaction to today and the life sentence her husband was tragically killed. Michelle McCollum and the 12 year old daughter she had with her late husband, Officer Alan McCollum, now live on the East Coast. They tried to stay in Corpus Christi, but they say it got too hard for them here and they moved away around Christmas time. Well, they were back in town for the trial and in the courtroom when the judge read the sentence today. The life in prison. Life in prison for taking the life of Michelle McCollum's husband. Today's sentencing of Brandon Portillo was a relief for Alan McCollum's widow. I do believe justice was served. I do. Justice is one thing, but moving on is another. That's something Michelle and her family may never do fully. I'm not sure if anybody is going to have closure. I know I'm going to take this with me until the day I die. It's affected me forever. A lingering disappointment for Michelle. She says Portillo didn't apologize to her as she gave her victim impact statement in court. Still, after hearing a sermon on forgiveness at church on Sunday, she's managing to do just that. My daughters and I, we forgive Brandon. We do. Well, we don't forget, forgive or forget what he did. Those are his actions. You know, he's a human being like we are, but we do forgive him. And it's not just her family. Michelle says Portillo should apologize to. There were lots of medics, firefighters and fellow officers at the scene of the deadly crash and beyond. There were so many that night that saw, that heard the screams that were with him in the ambulance that were by his side as he passed away. You know, we don't know the effects that it's going to have on them and then they take it home to their families. Bad memories of a night that changed so many lives forever. But there are plenty of good memories as well. Like no matter how crowded a room was at a party, the eyes of Michelle and Alan McCollum always seemed to find each other. No matter where I was at, he could always find me and I could always find him. And um, he'll always be my best friend, no matter what. To the day I die, he'll be my best friend. Michelle and her daughter will head home tomorrow where that 12 year old will get back to school. Michelle hopes her daughter being with her friends will put a smile on her face, even though in her words, she's missing a part of her. Pat. Seth, thanks. Just heartbreaking, huh? Alan and Michelle McCullum were together for 16 years. In October, Michelle traveled to Washington, D.C. for National Peace Officer Memorial Day. Her husband's name is now engraved in the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial. Thank you.